David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Um, I always enjoy it when I see pen companies try new things, you know, stepping out of their comfort zone in an effort to create something new and different. Uh, today, I have a review for you of a brand new product from a company which has been doing just that for years. The company is Shown Design, and what I'll be showing you today is their new in-house nib called the Monarch. Uh, what I'm going to do is go over the parts and features of the pen which features this nib, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Uh, this is a product which I purchased myself at full retail price. It was not provided for review. Uh, Ian Schoen is the gentleman behind the brand. Uh, Schoen Design is not a one-man operation. Now, that's how it began, but over the last few years, their Philadelphia workshop has grown, and the team of folks working to design, create, and produce new innovative products has uh, grown as well. Uh, Ian and his team have been creating and working to produce their own in-house nib for several years. Uh, it was not something that they rushed to market. Uh, they wanted to get it right. And, spoiler alert, I feel they have. Uh, the pen arrives in this neat tube. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like the rocket engines you would play around with when you were younger. I can uh, practically smell the sulfur in here. And then inside, we have the pen. Uh, this is the Shown Design full-size model. Um, while the pen is nice, the nib is really the star of the show. So, in order to get a closer look at this nib and the rest of the pen, please join me over here at camera two. So, here we have the Shown Design full-size pen equipped with the new Monarch nib. Uh, I just like this tube. I just like this pop noise when it opens up. And here we have the pen. Um, this is a metal pen made from aluminum and has a black anodized finish. Uh, there is an option to select a different pen for your nib. Uh, the instructions on how to do that can be found on the Shown Design website. Um, I like this material though. It's nice and cool to the touch. Uh, the end comes to a rounded cone, uh, which isn't too sharp at all. Um, on the end of the cap, it is engraved with a company name. And then on the back here, you can see there is a little tree. Uh, the company is using a set of 13 glyphs each year so that they can be used to date pens. Uh, this first batch of 13 has things like a star or a ice cream cone or a smiley face or a heart, things like that. Uh, next year, uh, there will be a new set. And eventually there might be a glyph guide up on the company site so you could date the pen yourself. It's a neat little addition to the pen and a fun way to add a date element to the pen and a, a bit of a hidden code. Uh, there is a very small step down from the cap to the barrel, which is straight until about this point, where then it tapers down slightly to another rounded cone on the end. Okay, let's take a look at the star of the show here, which is the nib. This is the Monarch. Uh, the monoch is short for monocoque, which is French for single shell, which is a term often used in aerospace and uh, racing where the structural body of a uh, vehicle is made from one solid piece. Uh, this is a solid piece of titanium. Uh, I really like that the company went with a non-traditional design for this nib. Uh, it's instantly recognizable. Uh, the curves have a really nice flow to them as well. Uh, on the front here, it is engraved with the company name. Uh, you have your choice of having this filled in either blue or rainbow or no fill at all. Uh, you can see here that I chose blue. I think it looks really nice. Uh, actually, all three options look really sharp in my opinion. Uh, then on the back side here, there is this star. Uh, this is a glyph similar to what you saw on the cap, except for all nibs in this first batch, which have been produced over the last several months, will have a star. Uh, when the next generation of the nib is produced, it'll have a different glyph. So uh, you'll know what uh, essentially that this is a first edition nib. Uh, the nib is compatible with all of Schoen's pocket and full-size fountain pens, which also take a Yovo number no. 6 nib. And then here's a look at the Ultim feed. Uh, you have two colors to choose from. You can have one in natural Ultim, which is amber in color, or this black. 
Uh, while I like the black in hindsight, I probably should have chosen the amber. I just think it looks a little bit cooler in my opinion and a bit different. Uh, the section is slightly concave. Uh, the anodization prevents this metal section from being slippery at all. Um, even though this is not the largest pan, pen, it's long enough to use unposted. Um, it can post. Uh, inside the cap, there is an O-ring, which you see there, which makes contact with the barrel. So there is no metal on metal abrasion. Um, I don't find that posting this pen throws off the balance. Uh, and I don't find that the edge of the cap uh, is sharp against my hand, which is a good thing as well. Uh, despite that, I personally prefer to use this pen unposted. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges and a converter is provided. Uh, with all of the metal in this pen, uh, eye dropping would not be recommended. Post-production David here. Uh, when I was editing this, I realized I left out a bunch of information in regard to how you can actually purchase them and the price. So I thought I'd go over it now. Um, how these are being sold is a bit unique. There are a fixed number of Monarch nibs which will be produced each month. Uh, there is a small batch being made in April, and then the company will be taking a small break from offering the nib while they make some changes to their tooling and how they're selling the nibs. So after the April slots are sold out, uh, they might be unavailable for a bit, but they will come back. So if you're interested in this nib, uh, it would be wise to act sooner rather than later if you want one in your hand fairly quickly. Uh, in regard to price, I will admit that it's rather steep. Uh, the introductory price for a pen with this nib is $400. Currently, you can only purchase the nib with a pen, not on its own. Um, I purchased the one that I have here in my possession at full price. It was not provided for review. While that is a rather hefty price tag, uh, I liken it to whenever new technology enters the market. Uh, if you want to be an early adapter, there's typically a premium price that goes along with that. On top of that, I'm a fan of what Ian Schoen and his team are doing, and I wanted to support their entrepreneurial spirit and their willingness to be innovators in a space where it's easy to play it safe. Okay, let's do some live measurements here, and then we will do some size comparisons and the writing sample. The pen is, comes in at 29 grams in total. The cap is just about six, and the pen itself is just about 24. In regard to some size comparisons, this is what it looks like with an Aurora Optima. Uh, this is what it looks like with uh, another show design full-size pen. Uh, and this is what it looks like with a Sailor Pro Gear. This is what it looks like with the uh, Shown Design Ultim. This is the color of the uh, uh, amber feed, if you wanted to get an idea of that color. Uh, this is a Shown Design Pocket 6, which is a really nice pocket pen that he has. And then here it is with a Visconti uh, Opera Speedboat. Um, you know what, I showed you this one because this is the other pen in my collection which has a tubular feed or a tubular nib. Um, and I will say that I've never been particularly fond of this nib. It just hasn't performed very well. Uh, and as you'll see in the writing sample, uh, that's different than the shown nib. So I don't believe that uh, Visconti produces this one any longer, but it was something that uh, just didn't necessarily work the greatest on this pen. But you can see how it uh, is a different design than what shown has going on here with the Monarch. Okay, here we go with the writing sample for the shown design, which is just D-S-G-N. And uh, this is the full-size pen, but really this is the Monarch nib. That's the star of the show here. And this is a medium. And the ink that I'm using is Robert Oster. And this is Rust Orange.
This is what the color looks like. It's an exclusive available through uh, Galen Leather. Um, it's a really nice kind of reddish orange. This is what it looks like in comparison to Fountain Pen Revolution's Tangerine Dream. And then here it is with Mont Blanc's Lucky Orange. This is what Robert Oster bottles look like. Like I said, this is an exclusive for Galen Leather, so you could check out their site for this particular color. It's nice. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, this is a very stiff nib. You're going to get virtually no line variation at all. Um, and that you're not going to get any line variation here. Uh, and that side to side, there's not going to be much. Um, the ink flow for this pen is decent. And in regard to reverse writing, I've never tried it reverse writing. Oh, it's very smooth. Uh, but then in regard to some fast writing, the feed has no problem in keeping up. I wouldn't describe this experience as extremely smooth. There is a hint of feedback to it, uh, but it's pleasant and different. Uh, it's one of those nibs that you kind of are going to get a feeling for and uh, will be distinctive in your mind to where when you're writing with it, you'll know that you're using a Modoc nib. So there we have the Shown Design Monarch. Uh, I, like I mentioned before, I, I'm really happy when companies kind of go out of their, uh, uh, their comfort zone and try something new and different. And I know that a lot of effort over several years went into the design of this, uh, and I'm pleased with the way it turned out and, uh, uh, and happy for Ian Schoen and his team. And can't wait to see what they come up with next. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.